paramedics under attack. EMTs being attacked at an alarming rate. First responders say it's getting worse. From this incident in the middle of a road in Oklahoma to many others across the country, paramedics are facing more and more violent attacks. Uh, I've been assaulted numerous times. Jamie Field, a paramedic for 26 years in California, recounts one of those attacks where he was knocked out. He was under the influence of uh, alcohol. He was trying to break out of his uh, restraints. Um, he grabbed a CHP's gun um, and actually had a hold of his weapon. I was actually in, you know, in trying to help restrain him. And a couple minutes into it, I was knocked out unconscious and spent probably a month, month and a half off duty. And you're so busy, you can't even eat. Assembly member Freddy Rodriguez, an EMT himself for more than 32 years, knows all about the dangers of the job. We're confronted by some very violent folks sometimes where we get assaulted hurt, beat up, and if we don't really have that way to properly report those so that we have a database to look back on types of incidents that are occurring to our first responders because we have nothing to protect ourselves. Rodriguez, who still works as an EMT, requested this study released by the UC Berkeley Labor Center on EMS services in the state. The report, published in February of 2017, was the catalyst for his Assembly Bill 263 the Emergency Medical Services Bill of Rights. It requires private EMS employers to provide 10-minute uninterrupted rest breaks and 30-minute uninterrupted meal breaks. This is just a common basic necessity that if it's possible to guarantee these workers an appropriate uh, meal or rest break. And if for some reason they can't because of a disaster uh, that they can give it to, at least compensate them for that. That's all we're asking. The legislation would also require the collection of data regarding violent incidents involving EMS workers. Our providers face a 13 times greater average than the general population for mental health issues as it relates to suicide. Jason Brolini is president of the United EMS Workers and a paramedic for over 20 years himself. Brolini is confident this legislation will help first responders with the critical stress they face as it relates to fatigue and burnout. What this legislation does really is to reduce some of that critical stress on the front end, make the work environment a little bit more palatable, and allow for breaks and relief. Just that, that time to take a breath, to get food on a 12 or a 24 hour shift, 